Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, we will look into a cool feature available in Spring. In this video, let us see how to make use of Service Locator Factory Bean. Let us first see an example architecture to understand this better. Here is a simple architecture that I have for you. So, an incoming request is going to come to our API and the, our API is going to interact with multiple legacy and external systems in order to send back a response. And these legacy systems and external systems are going to be connected to our API through the concept of adapters. So our API is going to have a car adapter, a bus adapter, a bike adapter, and a truck adapter, a very simple example. So in a normal case, how would you make sure that the incoming request goes to the right adapter? Obviously, you'll be using the if-else loop there. What if there is a better way to do it? And that too, without adding the dependency of each of these adapters in the controller. Let's jump back to our IDE and let's take a look at how to implement that. I have a simple Spring Boot application here and let me quickly show you my vehicle object. So my vehicle object is going to have only two fields in it. One is going to be my vehicle name and the other is the vehicle type. And here's the adapters that I mentioned in my architecture diagram. So I'm going to have a bike service, I'm going to have a bus service, and I'm going to have a car service, and I'm going to have a truck service. All the services are going to implement an interface called adapter service, which will be of generic type. And every service is been annotated with a name. So whatever request that comes in, we are just going to print it. We are not going to do any complicated logic here. The idea of this tutorial on the video is to make sure that how you understand the service locator factory bean implementation. Okay. Now, so since we have all the setups run, right, let's go to a controller. In a controller, in a normal case, what you will be doing is you will be auto wearing all the services here right in the controller and then depending upon the request you will be routing the request to the, that particular service or the adapter that's how people implement it in a normal way with the use of service locator factory bin we can make sure that that particular logic is being implemented in a very simple way let me quickly go to my vehicle config so what is a service locator factory bin Service Locator Factory Bean in Spring Framework is an implementation of service locator design pattern and helps with locating the service at the runtime. Service Locator Factory Bean helps if you have more than one implementations of same type and want to use the appropriate implementation at the runtime. So we have one implementation of the same type vehicle and we want to make sure that the appropriate implementation is being invoked at runtime. So in order to do that, let us first create an adapter service of generic type. It's going to have one method signature process. And then what we're going to do is, we are going to use this interface inside an another interface, which is called the service registry. We are going to create a service registry interface and we are going to use the adapter service interface inside the service registry interfaces method signature. So this service registry, what it will do is, it will help to identify the service of the type of the adapter service and this is bounded together with the help of factory bin so what you have to do in your configuration classes you have to create a factory bin and that factory bin would be your service locator factory bin in the service locator factory bin you need to set your service locator interface in this in our case the service locator interface is our service registry class and then return the beam. This is all you have to do. Let us jump back to a controller and this is where it gets super cool. So in our controller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto wire the service registry here. And once I auto wire it, what I can do is I'm going to do a service registry dot get service and the vehicle will have a vehicle type on it. And I'm going to pass in the vehicle type. So in my vehicle, right, you can go to the vehicle model. It's going to have vehicle name and vehicle type. The vehicle type will be like car, bus, bike, and truck. So I can identify, I can use this to identify the service that I want to invoke. So in this case, I'm going to use the vehicle type to identify by the service and then process the vehicle object. This is a very, very simple example of service locator factor bin. But if once you, you start using this, you can think of a lot of complicated logics and ideas and make use of them in a better way. 
So in this case, we are going to do service registry dot get service depending upon the request that comes in and then invoke the process method of that service and pass in the vehicle object. Okay, let's quickly run this example and you will understand that even better. Let me start the server. The service is up and running. Let's quickly go to a postman. I have the postman and the ID side by side so that it will be easy to understand how this works. So I have the request here and it's going to be a post request. The vehicle name is going to be Volvo and the vehicle type is going to be a car. So when I send this request, the request should actually go to the car service. And that particular implementation should be understood here and it should be invoked from the controller. So let me click on send. So once I send, it went to inside car service and the vehicle name is Volvo, vehicle type is car. So let's quickly go to our car service and you could see here the request has now come to the car service. Let me change the request to bus. Click on send and now it goes to the bus service. So now the request has actually gone to the bus service. And if I change this to a truck, it would go to the truck service. And if I change it to bike, say so we'll change it to Yamaha click on send and this will now go to the bike service and this is a very important example that helps if you have more than one implementation of the same type and want to use the appropriate implementation at the runtime without writing too much of if else logics and complicating the system and this is how you make use of the service locator factory bin thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos